Hey guys, what is up? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to get the hyperdrive in the game of No Man's Sky. And it's very simple. Um, I just barely finished fixing up my ship. And if you follow my steps, you can get the hyperdrive right away. As a matter of fact, probably like 15 minutes like after you finish fixing up the plane. All you have to do is... Okay, the first thing you have to do obviously is fix up the plane. Second is to, to able to take off from that planet. And then the third place uh, or the third uh, step is to find the space station. And like I said, if you follow these steps, you should not have problems finding the hyperdrive at all. So what you want to do is go to the space station. And we're, what we're basically, uh, you know, telling the game is uh, we're, we're making it register that we left the planet, that we also went to the space station. Um, in here, I did sell some of the things uh, that I had on me, like some aluminum that I found and whatever. I did talk to the guy. Uh, he did give me a blueprint for some, nothing special. Uh, but all, all you have to do is just, you know, like I said, just go to the space station, sell your stuff, talk to the guy. And then as soon as you do that, just leave the space station and go to another planet that's undiscovered. Make sure that it's undiscovered. Once you, once you, uh, not even it's, it's not even going to take you about 30 seconds maybe less than a minute when you're exploring a little bit you will get a signal uh incoming signal detected like you see there it's a beacon um, so what you need to do is find where that signal is coming from most likely it will be in another planet if it is uh like like mine uh my, my beacon is in another planet all you have to do is just you know take off and, and go towards it as you can see here though i didn't have plutonium so i'm gonna go ahead and charge it and yeah i i, I did you know i did cut out the, the the pieces where i'm over there trying to scavenge a little bit trying to get that plutonium um but anyway so we, once we go to the beacon what's gonna happen is uh, we're gonna land on it and we're gonna interact with that beacon once we do that then it's gonna give us another location that where we need to go and where we're gonna finally get the hyperdrive, and there's some, there's still some things I want to talk about uh, with that, you know, <clears throat> with that uh, hyperdrive that I'm not gonna. Well, we'll just wait until we get it, so we can start talking about that. But like I said, just follow the steps. Uh, the first step is to, you know, fix your plane, take off from the from from the planet, and go to the space station, and when you leave the space station, you know, go to a planet that's undiscovered. And once you land in that planet, you will get that signal for the beacon, go to the beacon. Then we're finally here at the beacon and we're going to interact with the, you know, as soon as I <laughs> scavenge these things right here. But we will uh, interact with the waypoint and then it's going to do this. And then it's going to tell us exactly where we need to go to find the uh, hyperdrive. Um, and like I was saying, I did scav, I did do a little bit of scavenging, but I cut all those uh, parts out because obviously you are gonna need some plutonium, you are gonna need some fuel for the uh, for the boosters and stuff like that. And uh, but I mean, you, I'm assuming you guys already know what to do because I mean, I did play like 15 hours before I even found the hyperdrive. This is an, a second, uh, my second account, um, but I did find the hyperdrive, you know, for my for for my first account without even knowing and i had to i was like you know what i didn't even record that so but it is what it is i ended up having to replay the whole thing so i can record it and show you guys okay so we found the second spot uh you know from the, that the beacon told us to go all we have to do now is just talk to the guy and he will give us the blueprint simple as that also um i'm gonna go ahead and mention that um, if you look around in that spot, most likely you will have a toolkit on the wall as well. If you do, if you do have the money, uh, which I believe in my case I did, I went ahead and upgraded uh, also my toolkit. That it took me from five slots to seven slots with a better uh, uh, laser beam or whatever you want to call it. But there it is. The hyperdrive is there, and yeah, you can get the hyperdrive pretty much 15 minutes after you find the uh, or after you. Uh, fix the plane like right off the basically in the beginning you can get the hyperdrive now there's some of the things there's some like i said i had some things i wanted to talk about uh once you get the hyperdrive uh, you know you can build it but i don't recommend you putting it on that <laughs> starship that you have with 15 slots i think it is uh what i would recommend you guys to do is to actually grind out the game a little bit go look to you know go to another planet 
uh, look for some gold or look for some emerald those are the two uh, resources that I found that really sell I can really get you a lot of money and I bought my I bought myself this badass plane right here it's a starship with the 24 slots inventory and this is where I'm gonna put the hyperdrive and um, yeah that's that's uh, there it is it's, it's finally there and also to be able to make the hyperdrive I, I believe you can make uh, you can buy some of the some of those items. I think it's like two things you need to make the hyperdrive. Once you have the, uh, I guess the recipe for it, and one of those things you you definitely can buy it in the space station. Uh, now, once you make the hyperdrive and you install it on your starship, like I said, make sure you have a a, a good starship with a lot of slots inventory because I think that's going to be good if you're trying to get rich, you know. Um, but anyway, the next thing you need is the antimatter, and yeah, I did find one from this guy. He's selling it at a hundred thousand, which I don't even care because I got the money for it on my second account. I got 3.9 uh, million units, and you do need the antimatter. This is the only guy. Like I was looking for it, there was like about eight or nine starships that landed in that space station. No one had it. Only that guy had it. So I went ahead and bought it. I didn't even care for the price. Once you have the antimatter, then you're gonna you, you need to build a uh, warp cell. And that's what fuels your hyperdrive. And yeah, all you need is the antimatter and the thamium 9, or however you pronounce that. And yeah, you make it. And then you can go ahead and and, and find the hyperdrive, and there you go. ECS, ECS Pi. And you can go ahead and charge it. But as you can see, one warp cell is 20%. I don't have the recipe to make the antimatter yet. I'm looking for it. But I do have the money to buy as many antimatters. The, I guess the hard part is finding the antimatter. I got the money to buy it. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Uh, right off the bat, like I said, you can buy the. Uh, I mean, you can make the hyperdrive. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. And uh, until next time, peace.